looking at quadratic first discriminant, so this is from National 5 Maths, given a quadratic equation from ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, the discriminant is the bit under the square root sign in the quadratic formula. But at higher maths, you need to know that, and that's b squared minus 4ac. And there's three things that can happen. If b squared minus 4ac is bigger than 0, you get two real and distinct roots. Roots are where we cut the x-axis. If b squared minus 4ac was equal to 0, you get one real and equal root. So in other words, a repeated root. Or sometimes you can say two real and equal roots. And if it's less than zero, we can say there's no real roots, okay? And we can use this in a variety of problems. So here's an example one. It says find the nature of the roots of 9x squared plus 21x plus 16 equals zero. A is equal to 9, B is equal to 21, and C is equal to 16. B squared minus 4AC. So that's 21 squared minus 4 times 9 times 16. Getting a calculator for that then. 21 squared minus 4 times 9 times 16 is minus 135. So since b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, no real roots. And we're done there. So we can use the discriminant to find unknown terms if we know that the discriminant was real or not real or equal. For instance, example 2 says, find the value of q such that this has real roots. So if it's got real roots, we can just say that b squared minus 4ac is greater than or equal to 0 because it has real roots. So remember that's our a, that's our b, and our c would be q. So we're just subbing it all in. 12 squared minus 4 times 6 times q is greater than or equal to 0. We need to solve this inequality. 12 12 is 144. So you get 144 minus 4 6 is 24. 24 q is greater than or equal to 0. So that means that 144 is greater than or equal to 24 q. So dividing by 24, you get 6 is greater than or equal to q, or reading that backwards, q is less than or equal to 6. And we're done there. Okay, a further example like that. Example 3 says, show that 2k plus 4x squared plus 3k plus 2x plus k minus 2 always has real roots. So we have to prove it's got real roots this time. So let's do our a, there's our a, there's our b, there's our c. So summing it in. We've got b squared minus 4ac. We're just going to see what we get. Well, we've got 3k plus 2, all squared, minus 4 times 2k plus 4, times k minus 2. So we need to, I suppose, collect like terms and check that this uh, has real roots all the time. So how are we going to do that? Well, if it's got real roots all the time, it means... It could be a perfect square. If it's a perfect square, it means it could be square rooted. So we're going to complete the square, essentially. So we expand the bracket, 9k squared. Two threes are 6, so I double that to get 12k plus 4. And then expanding the second bracket quickly, we get 2k times k is 2k squared, minus 4. So minus 8k squared for the squared terms. And then the k terms, we've got minus 4k, but plus 4k, so that's 0. So 0k terms there, and then we've got 4 twos are 8, so that's minus 8 times minus 4 is 32. Plus 32. Collecting the terms, we get k squared plus 12k, and 4 plus 32 is 36. So now we can try and factorise that because we've got k plus 6, k plus 6. Well, that's the same as k plus 6 all squared, which is a complete square. So since it is a complete square, we can then just say, so we can just say that k plus 6 squared is a square number. Therefore, b squared minus 4ac is always greater than or equal to 0. And therefore, the quadratic always has real roots. 
I want that now.